In this video, we're going to try to find a value of x to 1 dp, which gets as close to 67 as possible. Now normally, they'd start off by giving you a hint, such as x equals 4. And if we work out what 4 cubed, take away 2 times 4 equals, then we get to 56. So this value, compared to 67, is too low. So we must search for a value of x, which is probably higher. So if we try x equals 5, and work out 5 cubed, minus 2 times 5, then this works out to be 115. And this value is now too high. So we've therefore established that our value of x is between 4 and 5. And we want x to 1 dp. So a good thing to try now might be 4.5 in between 4 and 5. So now we work out this on the calculator. So we input it in as we see it. And we get 82. 0.125. So we're getting closer to that value of 67, but we're still too high. So keep on going. 4.4. 4.4 gives us 76. So too high. Now to get the full marks in the exam requires a logical progression through the values. Summarising our comparison compared to the key value on the right. So 4.3. This gives us 70. Still too high. So we'll try 4.2 and see what happens. This works out at... 65.688. Ah, we're too low. So now we stop. We have looked at two adjacent values to 1 dp and found that 1 is too high and 1 is too low. So x is in between 4.2 and 4.3. Now we only want x to 1 dp, so we have to choose x to be either this solution or that solution. And what we do is we now do a check in between these two values to ascertain which of these it is. So if I pick x equal to 4.25 and work out this value instead, and it works out to be 68. 0.266, which is too high. So if x equals 4.25 is too high, then it must be 4.2. So x equals 4.25 is too high, so x must equal 4.2 to one decimal place. If x at 4.25 was too low, then it would be 4.3 to 1 dp. Now this question is often worth about 4 marks, 3 of which might be for the progression through to the solution, but the 4th mark is normally for that final check in between your two adjacent values of x.